I went to an English medium school. That's what they call it. Hello, this is Sheetal and today's remedy is going to be of a lot of interest to you if you want your hair to be shiny, thick and if you want them to grow very long. If you're watching this on YouTube, subscribe to my channel. So ingredient number one in this remedy is avocado, of course a ripe avocado. And if you're wondering why we're using avocado, it is because it is an excellent source of essential fatty acids, good fats. And it's a wonderful source of vitamin E, which is such a beautiful antioxidant that can reverse free radical damage. And externally, if you're going to use it on your skin or your scalp, you will find almost immediately that uh, your skin feels nourished, your scalp feels nourished and pacified at the same time. Ingredient number two is aloe vera. And aloe vera in Ayurveda is called Kumari and uh, this plant really does not need any introduction. Um, I want to say Ayurvedic beauty and hair care is pretty incomplete without aloe vera. But it is also popular, a very popular ingredient all over the world, not just in the Ayurvedic system. And the reason I chose to include aloe vera in today's remedy is that it is a source of some plant hormones. Um, for example, auxins, gibberlins, uh, these hormones are known to increase uh, cell turnover and um, this property uh, can also be harnessed so that our follicles, our hair follicles can be deep cleaned. And when your follicles are deep cleaned, then they are able to absorb a lot of nourishment that is coming into this remedy via the other ingredients. Ingredient number three is castor oil. Now, castor oil is called arandi tail in Hindi. And of course, you can get it at any drugstore or natural food store or Indian grocery store. It is a very, very important oil in the Ayurvedic system. It is known for its anti-inflammatory properties. It is also known to raise the nourishment to your scalp dramatically. And that is because it is um, such, such a tremendous source of good fats. So that's mainly the reason why we are using castor oil in this remedy. The next ingredient is extra virgin olive oil. But I will say one thing, if you have almond oil at home, then that is such a beautiful ingredient to use instead of the extra virgin olive oil. In Ayurveda, almond oil is called badam katel and it is such a mainstay when it comes to Ayurvedic hair care. It is a source of essential fatty acids, good fats. It's a source of vitamin E also, which is an antioxidant. But um, if you don't have almond oil readily available, then I feel like extra virgin olive oil is a very good replacement. Okay, we're going to start off by cutting this avocado into two. And you need is a tablespoonful of avocado. And now we're going to mash it up into a very smooth paste. Alright, so I have a very smooth avocado paste. It takes a little bit of time, let's say about one or two minutes using your fork to get it to this uh, consistency. The next ingredient is aloe vera. And we need about one teaspoonful of it. And I am going to peel the aloe vera like so. Then I like to use a fork to get about a teaspoonful of aloe vera gel into the mix. Okay, so the next ingredient is castor oil and uh, about five or six drops of it, no more than that at all. And if you're wondering why, castor oil is very viscous, it's very thick and it can feel very greasy on the hair. And if we overuse it, it can be a little difficult to wash off your hair also. Um, and the fact is that you only need a little bit, you don't need a whole lot. So for this recipe, about five or six drops is quite enough. Okay, so the last ingredient is, uh, for me, I'm using extra virgin olive oil. But if you have almond oil, I feel like that's a very, very good ingredient to use. Just about a teaspoonful of it, no more than that. Here we go, this is how it looks and we are going to mix everything very thoroughly. Very deeply nourishing, all natural, very easy to use. So all you gotta do is use your fingertips and get this mixture on your scalp and with a very gentle circular motion, massage it in. 
So do this all over and um, you can use the remaining on the length of your hair. That should be done. One thing I will say, and this is a question that gets raised quite often uh, with people wanting to know, is it okay to store this in the fridge to be used later? And the answer is a decided no. And that is because um, there are no preservatives in this home remedy. You don't want to chance them going bad. And more importantly, really, is that natural ingredients should be used as fresh as possible. Because over time, as they sit around in the fridge or otherwise, they begin to lose their potency. Their enzymatic action decreases pretty rapidly with time. So if you want a very effective home remedy, you should make it fresh every single time. I really hope you enjoyed today's remedy and found it very easy and that you're going to take a moment and put it together for yourself. I'm going to invite you to visit ApsaraSkinCare.com and check out in particular our hair care products, rosemary and amla hair oil, shampoo and conditioner. Check out the ingredients. If you should have any questions, feel free to shoot us an email. Up until the next time, take care, go natural, it is good karma.